Good morning, it's Jan from Twink Stamping. I'm an independent UK demonstrator. Um, thank you for coming along today to um, see my video. Uh, today's uh, video is going to be a continuation of using the beautiful one sheets that um, I've created. I hope you've managed to create some as well. Um, I'm going to do a very quick project using uh, one of these sheets. Um, I'm also going to be using the um, DSP, the new ink colour DSP. We're going to be using Starry Sky and um, Starry Sky. Oh, they're both Starry Sky. Okay. As much as I'd like to use the Orchid Oasis, I think I've done that to death now. So uh, I've, I've gone to Starry Sky. So... What I'm going to be doing is, um, I've actually started in the evenings when I'm sitting in my craft room indoors, um, I've started doing a bit of journaling. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying it. And um, as practice, if you like, I've created these, these little um, projects using the same sort of technique as you do when you're doing journaling. Um, I hope you're going to like them. They are little notepads uh, that you can pop in your handbag. Very, very simple, easy to make. Uh, possibly make great um, craft fair items. I've just put a little pocket in the back and the front. You can put whatever you like in there. You could have perhaps a little calendar um, on, on one of them. Um, maybe a card or something on the other side i don't know but i've just put two little pockets in there and then i've put a, sewn in a few pages of um just normal copy paper so yeah this is um let's say this is my new uh favorite pastime in the evenings uh making up journals um not this obviously but um i thought i would just show you you know because a lot of people get really scared when they're when um, you talk about sewing in things and uh, etc. So I thought I'd show you just how easy it actually is. Now this is waxed thread. Now you don't have to use waxed thread. You can use um, embroidery thread or you could even try using twine. Uh, but you need a, a needle that's big enough, you know, but not too big, but big enough to get your thread through the eye of the needle because uh, obviously you don't want one too big because you'll make massive big holes in your work but there are there are a couple of ways of doing this but this is, I, I don't mind if you see the um, twine on or the, or the thread on the spine of the there you can just catch it there the spine of the booklet that doesn't bother me in the slightest some people that might bother and if if it does bother you then what i would suggest is that you sew in your your um oh did it here what you call this the paper the paper honestly um you i've lost my train of thought train of thought now yes if you want to um not see it on the outside you can sew your papers together so that the join would be in there and then you would just stick this and this to the back of your book to cover because you know, obviously um, you'd have to connect the outside to the paper so the only way you could do that is by joining sticking down the front and the back okay but then you wouldn't be able to have pockets well you would but you'd put them on top of the sheet of paper all fingers and thumbs today yeah you would have to put the pocket on there but i quite like it the fact that you can see some lovely dsp and you know it all matches up with the pockets and everything so that is the way i like to do them i don't know if it's right or it's wrong it's just how i like to do it i say i've used you can see i've used all the in colors again um just to um, just to show you basically what they look like in um, different colours. But I thought it was a great idea. As I say, um, I do love to do a bit of journaling in the evenings. 
um, purely, I tell you for why, because you don't need many um, tools, etc. Because I've got a, a, a craft studio outside of my house. Um, I don't like to be out here at night. I like, you know, in the evenings, I like to be indoors with the rest of the family. Um, so I have my own craft room in there. But what I don't like having to do is carry things between the house and um, the craft studio every day. Although I do, I do carry a, a couple of bags worth of stuff out with me every day. But I, I don't want to add to that. So um, doing my journaling, I found that I don't need an awful lot of stuff. A lot of, um, you know, cards, you can take cardstock in. These have all been stamped during the day. Um, so it's just a case of putting things together, you know, which I really do enjoy. Um, right. So if you want to follow along, you just need your stamped piece of card or whatever else you want to cover your your paper with. But if you if you want to do a different cover and just use plain card, then you would um, then you would have to cover your card from the outside, obviously. Uh, with DSP but I chose to stamp mine um, and just cover the inside okay so that is that so I'm going to run through it with you uh, obviously I'm not going to um, show you how to do that again we've already done that once um, you can look back on my old videos and see exactly how I created the paper right now I'm going to cut this at six inches square because that is the size of the booklet. Now, do I want that end or that end? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, let's just go with the flow, shall we? I like that end. So six by six. I'll save that that can be used for my pockets so six by six and then you just score it at three and that is the outside oh I've lost me lost me scoring tool so then you can choose which one you want as your front which one you want as your back um, I then um, I believe I then did a uh, corner rounder. I'm sure you've all got one of these in your kit. If you haven't, then find something, um, the edge of something round. I don't know, I don't know, a pot or something, you know, and you sort of put it onto your work, use a pencil and just go round it and then cut it with scissors. That's a, an easier way of doing it. Um, I actually have a corner rounder, which I need to find. Uh, my bag. So I shall quickly do that. So I do all four corners. I like the look of rounded corners. They feel nice, don't they? So I think I'll have that as the back and that as the front. If you feel like you haven't got enough, you know, um, decoration on your card, you can go in and add, you know, more flowers to it if you want to. I'm going to leave mine as it is. So next job to do is to cut your DSP, well, your designer series paper. Now you'll have to make another choice about what colour you're going to use. I like both of them. Um, I'm going to cut this at just slightly smaller. I'm going to try it first at five and, oh, what's that? 15 sixteenths. Or for those of you in metric, it's going to be 15.1. 15.1 and it's just a smidge off the edges I 
I am naughty because I swap from inches to centimetres. I know it can be really quite confusing. Um, do you know, I never, I never knew how to do metric or even the inches. I mean, I, I say that. Of course, I knew inches and um, the metric. <laughs> but I didn't understand totally, like sixteenths and eighths and things like that, until I started doing my classes and doing, um, you know, creating my own cards. And now I'm very used to it. But there is, there are a lot of people out there who still um, need to be reminded about measurements. So it can be a little bit tricky. Right, now, it is going to be very, very slightly off, okay? You could have tried putting um, 6 for 6 using 6 for 6 but... Um, if you're cutting slightly out or whatever, then there'll be a gap anyway. I'm going with what I've got now. I'm happy with popping that on there with the slightest of borders. And like I say, I really am not bothered. Okay, so next thing you're going to do is you're going to adhere this to your base now you're going to need to be careful obviously tombow sticks like oh i don't know i don't know what the word is but it it sticks fast that's all i'm going to say so you need to be pretty quick but at the same time you need to make sure i'm going down the spine you need to make sure that it actually sticks and it's actually straight. So wish me luck. Um, I always, well, I always, I try and do my, um, my score line before I start so that I've got, that it's quite easy then to actually it in if you know what I mean it helps right there you go it's got I've, I've got a, a slight slightly more one end than I have the other I'm not bothered you're not going to notice that once you've got it all together okay so phew that went okay I had visions then doing it on camera it was going to be a mess, but no, it turned out fine. It turned out absolutely fine. I'm just going to pop some little pockets on there now. So they will go there and there. So that should measure three inches. So with this piece of card, I'm not going to cut it down. down. I'm um, just going to cut it across. Right, we start this end. What did I say? It was three inches. So I want to come back about um, one eighth of an inch. And I'm going to do that again on this side. I'm going to turn that one eighth of an inch down. Oh, I'm going to chop off that bit. Mm, it's going to be just white, isn't it? Hmm. Have to be that. Okay, so now I've got two pockets which are going to sit one there and one here now in fact i need to chop a bit more off than that oh no no that that should be fine but i am going to i'm going to cut a slither so a, literally a slither okay off of each one so that they sit nicely in there sticky fingers now Right, I think that's all my cutting actually. So, for now, yeah, again, I'm going to round edges. You don't have to do um, all the edges, but I quite like the look of 
all the edges being rounded. Oh. It is really windy and really chilly today. What a difference from last week when I was walking around in a t-shirt. Can't walk around in a t-shirt now. Mind you, in saying that, it is only May. I think we forget that. It is only May. My dad used to say, never cast a clout till May is out. So never leave your coat at home. He always used to tell us to take our coat. When we were going out. There we go. So they will go like that. Very, very simple. And I'm sorry to those people who are very experienced at creating um, journals and making pockets and flips and flaps and stuff. Um, I'm just starting out on this journey. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, and I just thought I would share this very, very simple project with you. There we go. You can probably hear the wind. We had a, a really <laughs> surprise thunderstorm yesterday. None of us... I mean, it was raining. It was raining very, very hard. Um, but I hadn't seen any flashes of lightning or anything like that. I'm trying to get this straight. Sorry. Um, we hadn't seen any flashes of lightning or anything. And then all of a sudden, there was this almighty, and I mean almighty crash. It must have been right over the top of us. We didn't even get a chance to see the lightning. It must have happened and then... It thundered, and oh, my goodness, I jumped out of my skin. Uh, my everything rattled around me. It was so so loud. Um, probably one of the loudest sounds of thunder that I've ever experienced in my life. It terrified me. It did. But say it was the fact that there was no warning. Just raining. Um, I hadn't seen any um, flashes of lightning or any sounds of thunder. Pro uh, Prior to that, it was just this almighty bang. So I wondered what it was. Sorry, I just taken a gulp of coffee. Right, we're at that stage now where um, we're going to need some papers inside there. So what I've done is I have pre-cut some ordinary copy paper, and I think I use just three sheets, and you can get it all out of um, cut on, on one cut. Uh, two cuts rather of the one sheet and this measures uh, da, 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 because you're going to need it slightly smaller this measures five and three quarters by five and just over five and a half five and a half is fine and if you want it in centimeters it, it is 14 and a half by 14. Now, it, you want on the long side, you want to do your folding, okay? What I normally do is pop it to the top of my cutter. I always find that this really helps to get it straight. Oops. I've got sticky fingers. How have I got sticky fingers? I haven't touched any glue yet. Now that is was slightly out, so I've just popped it back in. That's it. Got a bit of furry on me. Just a little bit of furry. There we go. So, the, what you need to do now is pop all these together. Make sure they are all straight. Did I fold that the wrong way? Do you know, I folded that the wrong way. Don't listen to me, ladies. It's supposed to be that way. I'm not going to use that sheet now because it's got folds on it. But that's what you have to do. You have to fold it. And you have to fold it on the 14 centimetre side. No, no, no. I was right in the first place. 14 and a half, please. To the top of your cutter, fold in half. So I don't know what went wrong there. But it is what it is. It's done now. So you put it all together. Okay, you're gonna pop it to the center of your 
folio. Now you'll notice that it's going to be a bit too big for that folio. Now what I do, what I do is I actually sew mine in first and then I straighten this line up and I'll show you how I straighten the line up. Um, I maybe should have got my, my mat in first. Anyway, that goes in like that. I'm going to get my, I have a little bag now with all my little tools in. So that is my waxed thread. And I've got a very sharp pokey tool, but you can use your, your, po your pokey tool. And then I have a little pot of needles. I've got all, it's all different sizes. I found this little kit on the internet and it comes with three different, um, it was off Amazon three different types of waxed paper different colors um, and it comes with a little pot of needles only trouble is they didn't send me a little stopper so I have to put tissue in there um, and then it's you get a little pair of scissors oh I, I lied I found a stopper didn't look did I very well now, I don't know if that is the stopper or not because it's not very secure. Anyway, um, and it came also with a little bone folder. So it was quite a nice little kit and it was very inexpensive. A little pair of snippy scissors. Not that I would use those. Um, I suppose if you needed them in emergency, they would be okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to measure one, two, two times and a little bit, two times and a little bit of the size of my folder. I'll probably have some over. The scissors are not sharp at all. What I like about this is it actually sticks to itself, so you don't you don't have to search for the for the end. Right, you do need a mat of some kind underneath your work make sure that this stays all nicely together and it's all nicely together in there push it in okay and then all i'm going to do now i've seen people measure and everything unfortunately life's too short for me um, I just go for it. So that is about the middle. Push a hole through. And then I go along. I'm going to make three holes. Whoops. Two. And then one down here. About the same. Now, hopefully... That's not bad, uh, they're slightly off, but do you know what? It doesn't matter, as long as it works, it works. So I'm going to thread my needle. Again, this is very good because you can flatten it out and it goes nicely through your, through your needle. I need to actually take that out. I've got all um, wax in my, the needle eye. Okay, so we're going to pop that through there. I've got stuff all over my fingers. I have no idea where this stuff comes from. Wipe that off. That's it. I'm going to go through there. Pull it through and I'm going to just hold on to that bottom bit there. Let's pull it through just a little bit more. Hold on to that bit. I'm going to go, you can either go top or bottom, doesn't matter which. This one was slightly off, but never mind, never mind. Come up, then you go back down to the bottom one. And it's here that you make sure that it's all nice and tight. Then you're going to come back up the middle again. And what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you come up 
the opposite side of this one of the original so might be a little bit of a, a pull I've pulled it through but I've got me end okay I'm probably making a right mess of this so I just pull it tight and then I'm going to you can do a double knot if you want um, sometimes I do sometimes I don't so that is basically it so that's not scary at all is it not really chip that off um, I've chose to leave mine like that because I think what I might do is might um, do stamp something really tiny on a small circle uh, twice and then stick the circle like that and then let it have it dangling which would look quite nice and this might be a bit wonky because um, I didn't get it perfectly straight on here but like I say, it's it's done. It doesn't matter. It's still workable. Oh, that's upside down. This one can go in my handbag. Because I'm not bothered whether that's sticking there or not. So that is that. Now, normally, you'd have to straighten that out. But mine doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, the next job I'm going to do, oh, I think it might annoy me, you know, that little that little um, notch. So I might actually, I might sort that out another time um, and straighten that up. Because you can, you can just undo your, another reason why I only do it in a single knot, is you can actually undo it and redo it so that um, whatever you do, you're happy with. Shall I show you? Shall I show you? She says. Whoops. This is really, really sharp, this um this thing is tall. So just gently teasing it back out. There we go. And that came up that one didn't it so sorry about this i am going to get this right i'm going to take them all off i am going to go through the center this time so oh i bet you're all going oh my word why did you take it out slipped again it must have slipped there we go that's where I'm happy with there and then let's do this one as well yes that's the one I'm happy with and then that one's okay that one's okay and all I'll do is um, I can either cover the mistake I can just leave it uh, you know you can run a strip of um, washi tape or something down the spine a lot of people actually do that they cover their spine I think I said that earlier so that goes through there made a whacking great hole now but don't care don't care at least it will lay properly on the spine two that's what not to do okay you need to concentrate when you're doing that bit when you're doing your pokey hole. That's the first time, would you believe, that's ever happened to me. If I was to show you the other books, they've all got the spines perfectly down the middle. Am I too close to the camera? Sorry. I'm so busy doing this. Right. That's it. Put my needle back down. I'm much happier now that I've done that. 
that's better so all I'll do you won't see these she says I think they're a good jewel or a bit of washy on cover that's it that's better isn't it look that's down down the spine now I don't think that one's ever going to go right that back down the spine because it's um of where I've done the original hole it's better that's it there you go so you can't see it it's down the spine it's actually down the spine okay so that was how you mustn't do it and how to correct it but like I say you can take it out at the end of the day if I'd have really 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 messed that up what have I lost I've lost half a sheet of card and some a sheet of DSP which is probably the biggest thing I'd worry about and some copy paper other than that I've not lost a lot have I and you can hardly see it I will probably put a gem or something on that so next job is to do the um, just the sentiment on the front I'm quite happy that actually that they're not too um, they don't they're not too uneven and it fits the book nicely there's nothing showing on the outside right okay Day in the life of me. Hey, okay. get this wrong. I always get something wrong. I'm quite pleased it was just that, to be honest, rather than having to redo the whole thing. So, right, just chuck that away. Okay, let's see if we can do some stamping correctly. I've got a sheet of, not a sheet, I've got a strip of the white card um look at the mess look glue i do apologize that's gonna go in here i've got sticky fingers now what on earth is on my table today let's get some of this glue I'm sorry if I'm jiggering you, jiggling you about in the camera there. I don't like stuff sticky because that can ruin your work as well, as one of my ladies um, found out the other day. Unfortunately, she did a lovely piece of work and then managed to put her work down and it actually got stuck to the glue and then it ripped the paper off when she tried to remove it which was really quite sad. Anyway, I have to start again. That's all there is to it, isn't there? I'm using the Just A Note from the Flowing Flowers. Just A Note. I'll pop it on my little block here. I'm not sure how straight it's gonna be, but uh, we'll give it a go. It always looks straight to me when I'm looking down on it, but then when you get it on the paper, it looks wonky. Right, I need to find my beautiful new in colour starry sky. Love new ink pads, I really do, when they're all really nice and juicy. Don't like getting my fingers on them, but. They're great to stamp with. Might be tempting fate putting that away, but uh, let's get it over here. I hope I'm still in shot. I've got a lot of shadows in here today. Say so it's really quite dull outside. Normally I've got the big, you know, sunshine. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Just give that a quick wipe. Right. Next job is to cut that up. I'll cut the first bit 
first. Mm. Like that. And oops. Like that. Oops. Just I, I don't really like doing little tiny bits, do you? Because you always you're always worried that that bit's gonna move. Too late, done now. Oh, it's not actually too bad. That looks like it's, oh, I don't know. Okay. Dare I, dare I, dare I. Yes, gone for it. Just hanging out. Oh, that's not straight. Go for it. It is what it is. About this A, what do you reckon? I'm really pushing me like now, am I? Good. Done it. That's it. That's all I'm going to worry about for now. So, just pop these. I don't think I want... Um, I don't think I want them on pads, so I want it flat, because if you're going to put it in your handbag, then you're going to want to, um, you don't want any bulk, do you? And to make your little um, cards inside, or whatever you're going to put in there, little calendar or whatever, oh, that has never happened to me before with Tombow. Normally it gets stuck down and that's your lot. No second chances. I hate getting glue on me. Just a that looks wonky now. Not going to be much chance of me moving that, is there? Oh, yep. Yeah. Just a note. Take your time when you're doing it. Um, and you won't make so many mess ups as me. But that is how you do it. Oh, I can breathe now. Um, I'm sorry that it's, <laughs> you've seen me made another mistake, but I did rectify it. Good enough for me. Um, this one will be mine, which is, I'm quite happy about. Another good thing with the um, thread is you can flatten it. But as I say, if you don't have wax thread, just get yourself some, um, just get yourself some uh, embroidery thread because I'm sure most of you have got some of that in your stash somewhere or some linen uh, not linen uh, some baker's twine that works just as well all right so that's it thank you very much for uh, being patient with me and staying with me um, I really do appreciate that um, hopefully you've been able to follow along and make one yourself without making a mistake like me. Just be very, very careful when you're using the, your tool to check where your hole's going. I was very blasé about it. I realise that now. I was very blasé. I just poked it through, didn't I, with, uh, without thinking about where it was coming out. I say normally that wouldn't happen. As you can see from all my... My other ones, they are all down the spine, without a doubt. They are all down the spine. Look, down the spine and down the spine. See, I can do it right. It's, um, as I say, I think, I think it might be a little bit of pressure being on film, but that's what I've got to, that's what I've got to 
master doing things right under pressure. Anyway, too much waffling. Thank you very much for stopping by today. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you um, want any details on um, where you can purchase the products I've used, um, my shop details are down below. Um, also, my contact details are all down below should you want to contact me at all. Um, other than that, uh, if you liked what you saw today, hmm, debatable, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you once again for stopping by. Bye-bye now.